In mathematics, specifically differential calculus, the inverse function theorem gives a sufficient condition for a function to be invertible in a neighborhood of a point in its domain, namely, that its derivative is continuous and non-zero at the point. The theorem also gives a formula for the derivative of the inverse function. In multivariable calculus, this theorem can be generalized to any continuously differentiable, vector-valued function whose Jacobian determinant is non-zero at a point in its domain, giving a formula for the Jacobian matrix of the inverse. There are also versions of the inverse function theorem for complex holomorphic functions, for differentiable maps between manifolds, for differentiable functions between Banach spaces, and so forth. Topic. Statement of the theorem For functions of a single variable, the theorem states that if f is a continuously differentiable function with nonzero derivative at the point then f is invertible in a neighborhood of Display style. The inverse is continuously differentiable, and the derivative of the inverse function at b equals f a. Display style b equals f a is the reciprocal of the derivative of f. Display style f at a. Display style a f minus 1 b equals 1 f a display style b i g l f caret minus 1 big r b equals frac 1 f a for functions of more than one variable the theorem states that if f display style f is a continuously differentiable function from an open set of r n display style math b r caret n into r n display style math b r caret n and the total derivative is invertible at a point p display style p i.e. the jacobian determinant of f display style f at p display style p is non zero then f display style f is invertible near p display style p an inverse function to f display style f is defined on some neighborhood of q equals f p Display style q equals f p. Writing f equals f one f n. Display style f equals f underscore one l dots f underscore n. This means the system of n equations y i equals f i x 1 x n display style y underscore i equals f underscore i x underscore 1 dots x underscore n has a unique solution for x 1 x n display style x underscore 1 dots x underscore n in terms of y 1 y n display style y underscore 1 dots y underscore n provided we restrict x display style x and y display style y to small enough neighborhoods of p display style p and Q display style Q respectively
In the infinite dimensional case, the theorem requires the extra hypothesis that the fresh A derivative of f display style f at p display style p has a bounded inverse. Finally, the theorem says that the inverse function f minus one display style f caret minus one is continuously differentiable, and its Jacobian derivative at q equals f p display style q equals f p is the matrix inverse of the Jacobian of f display style f at p display style p j f minus 1 q equals j f p minus 1 Display style j underscore f caret minus one q equals j underscore f p caret minus one. The hard part of the theorem is the existence and differentiability of f minus one. Display style f caret minus one. Assuming this, the inverse derivative formula follows from the chain rule applied to f minus. 1 f equals id display style f caret minus 1 circ f equals text id i equals j f minus 1 f p equals j f minus 1 f p j f p equals j f minus 1 q j f p Display style i equals j underscore f caret minus one circ f p equals j underscore f caret minus one f p c d o t j underscore f p equals j underscore f caret minus one q c d o t j underscore f p. Topic example. Consider the vector valued function. F R two R two Display style F math B R carrot two two math B R carrot two defined by F X Y equals E X cos Y E X Sin Y Display style F x Y equals begin B matrix E carrot x cos Y E carrot x sin Y end B matrix. The Jacobian matrix is J F x Y equals E x cos Y minus E x sin Y E x sin Y E x cos Y. Display style J underscore F x Y equals begin B matrix E carrot x cos Y and E carrot x sin Y E carrot x sin Y and E carrot x cos Y end B matrix with Jacobian determinant det J F x y equals e two x cos two y plus e two x sin two y equals e two x 
Display style debt j underscore f x y equals e carrot two x cos carrot two y plus e carrot two x sin carrot two y equals e carrot two x. The determinant e two x display style e carrot two x is non-zero everywhere. Thus, the theorem guarantees that for every point p display style p in r 2 display style math b r caret 2 there exists a neighborhood about p display style p over which f display style f is invertible this does not mean f display style f is invertible over its entire domain in this case f display style f is not even injective since it is periodic f x y equals f x y plus 2 pi Display style f x y equals f x y plus two pi. Topic: Methods of proof. As an important result, the inverse function theorem has been given numerous proofs. The proof most commonly seen in textbooks relies on the contraction mapping principle, also known as the Banach fixed point theorem, which can also be used as the key step in the proof of existence and uniqueness of solutions to ordinary differential equations. Since the fixed point theorem applies in infinite dimensional Banach space settings, this proof generalizes immediately to the infinite dimensional version of the inverse function theorem. See generalizations below. An alternate proof in finite dimensions hinges on the extreme value theorem for functions on a compact set. Yet another proof uses Newton's method, which has the advantage of providing an effective version of the theorem. Bounds on the derivative of the function imply an estimate of the size of the neighborhood on which the function is invertible. Topic: Generalizations. Topic. Manifolds The inverse function theorem can be rephrased in terms of differentiable maps between differentiable manifolds. In this context the theorem states that for a differentiable map f m n to n of class c 1 Display style c caret one. If the differential of f display style f d f p t p m t f p n display style d f underscore p t underscore p m to t underscore f p n is a linear isomorphism at a point p display style p in m display style m then there exists an open neighborhood u display style u of p display style p such that f u u f U display style f underscore u u to f u is a diffeomorphism. Note that this implies that m display style m and n display style n must have the same dimension at p display style p. If the derivative of f display style f is an isomorphism at all points p display style p in m 
display style m then the map f display style f is a local diffeomorphism topic banach spaces The inverse function theorem can also be generalized to differentiable maps between Banach spaces x display style x and y display style y let u display style u be an open neighborhood of the origin in x display style x and f U Y display style f u to y a continuously differentiable function and assume that the derivative d f zero x y display style d f underscore zero x to y of f display style f at zero is a bounded linear isomorphism of x display style x onto y display style y then there exists an open neighborhood v display style v of f 0 display style f 0 in y display style y and a continuously differentiable map g v x display style g v to x such that f g y equals y display style f g y equals y for all y display style y in v display style v moreover g y display style g y is the only sufficiently small solution x display style x of the equation f x equals y Display style f x equals y. Topic: Banach manifolds. These two directions of generalization can be combined in the inverse function theorem for Banach manifolds. Topic: Constant rank theorem. The inverse function theorem and the implicit function theorem can be seen as a special case of the constant rank theorem, which states that a smooth map with constant rank near a point can be put in a particular normal form near that point. Specifically, if f m n display style f m to n has constant rank near a point p element of m display style p in m then there are open neighborhoods u display style u of p display style p and v display style v of f p display style f p and there are diffeomorphisms u t P M U display style U T underscore P M to U and V T F P N V display style V T underscore F P N to V such that F U V Display style f u subset v, and such that the derivative d f p t 
P M T F P N Display style df underscore p t underscore p m to t underscore f p n is equal to v minus one f u display style v caret minus one circ f circ u that is f display style f looks like its derivative near P display style P semicontinuity of the rank function implies that there is an open dense subset of the domain of f display style f on which the derivative has constant rank thus the constant rank theorem applies to a generic point of the domain when the derivative of f display style f is injective resp surjective at a point P display style P it is also injective resp surjective in a neighborhood of P display style P and hence the rank of F display style F is constant on that neighborhood and the constant rank theorem applies topic holomorphic functions If a holomorphic function f display style f is defined from an open set u display style u of c n display style math b c caret n into c n display style math b c caret n and the Jacobian matrix of complex derivatives is invertible at a point p display style p then f display style f is an invertible function near p display style p this follows immediately from the real multivariable version of the theorem one can also show that the inverse function is again holomorphic Topic. See also Implicit function theorem Notes <laughs> 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 <laughs>